Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Thursday. It's almost Friday. Yay! I am on vacation next week. I'm very, very excited about that. I have a friend coming to visit, my friend Gina. Um, we're going to do book shopping. We are going to read. We're going to sit in cafes. We're going to just putter and enjoy ourselves. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So hopefully I'll have lots of reading time next week in addition to some shopping and drinking tea. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I thought today I would do a TBR for February. Now, this is a little unusual for me. I don't normally do TBRs, but I've got, I do have some things that I actually am planning to read. I've got four books. So I thought I've got a stack of four books that I'm definitely reading in February. I should share them with you. So that is what I'm going to do today. We'll see how long this video is. And if, if it, if it doesn't get too long, I may do some January wrap up. I'm not sure. I may break that into a separate video. Um, and then I've also got a few, uh, so I've got four books I'm definitely going to read. And then I've got four books that came in on my library hold. I put random holds on ebooks at the library. And of course, four of them all came in at the same time. But I think I actually should be able to read all of these this month. So we'll see. But let's talk about the books and then we'll talk about what I think I'll be able to get to. Um, so the first two are books that I've already started. Um, they are both on my high priority TBR list. The first is William Goldman's The Princess Bride. And I am about halfway, I'm here, I'm about halfway through with this. So I will keep reading this for February. Um, what a silly and fun book. It sort of feels like it was written by a 16 year old boy. Um, and it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun um, to read. Um, some pros, some cons, but a fun, a fun tale. Um, the next is The Summer of Katya by Trevanian. This is Greg's favorite book of all time. And he has been, I was going to say nagging. He never nags. Uh, he's been wanting me to read it. And I told him I would read it in January. So that is what I am doing. But I didn't finish it in January. So it's getting carried over to February. And I'm about, I'm not reading this on my Kindle, but I think I'm a, I'm a little over halfway done with this, um, this one. This was written back in the 80s, I think. And it does, it does feel a little dated in the writing style, but I'm enjoying the story. Yeah, 1983. Um, and Greg, when I met him, he had taken the dust jackets off of all of his books because he liked the the more monochromatic look. And <laughs> I hate it. I want the dust jacket, but um this is his this is his book, so it stays as is. Maybe I'll try and find it. Maybe I'll try and find an edition that's got the dust jacket and then I'll just swap it and I'll put the dust jacket on this one because I want to keep this book because this is the book that is special to him. So these two, I should be able to finish fairly quickly, um, which is why I'm thinking that I'll be able to get to a bunch of those other uh, four ones. Um, next, this is also on my high priority TBR for 2023. This is Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga um, somebody told me how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry. I should have practiced. Uh, Tukarshuk. Um, and this is, she's a Nobel Prize winner, which is amazing. Really looking forward to reading this. I am buddy reading this with Kevy at Say Kevy. I will leave her channel linked down below. You should check it out if you have not already. Um, but this is, this. I don't really know much about this book other than um, one of you recommended this to me in my video where I talked about my top 10 favorite old lady characters. And I got a whole bunch of really good recommendations for other books that have um, elderly or older protagonists. And this was one of them. And I love this cover. I'm really looking forward to doing a buddy read of this. I think it might be a little bit, um, deeper, more complex than a lot of the books I normally read. 
Hello, Princess Bride. Um, so those kinds of books are really fun to read with a buddy because you can bounce ideas off of each other and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then my last absolutely positively is the second book in the Thrush Green series by Miss Reed, uh, which I don't think I own. It's Winter at Thrush Green. Um, I just showed you these yesterday and still I can't remember. No, I don't have that one. I got to finish my, my Miss Reed collection. So, but I have them all on my Kindle, which is how I read them anyway. So I just like to have them to have them. It's a weird ownership thing, I suppose. Um, but I always read them on my Kindle. In bed, cuddled up under the covers with the cat sitting on my butt. It's glorious. Um, but I am going to do a reread this year of the Thrush Green series. There are 13 books in the series and I finished one in January and I'm gonna read the second one in February. So those are the four absolutely positively, definitely gonna read um, in February. I've got three paper copies or uh, physical copies and then um, one on my Kindle. And actually I am reading, did I already tell you this? I am reading The Summer of Katya on my Kindle too, because they had it at the library. Um, and I might even look and see if Drive Your Plow is at the library on Kindle. I I'm, my brain, on my brain, I can't read. It's very struggle. It's very challenging for me to read physical books anymore for some reason. Um, primarily because I'm in bed a lot of times. And so it's just, it's just heavy. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I do need to get in the habit of not, not only reading in bed. I've gotten in the habit of only reading in bed at night and it's fine. It works, but, um, but it does limit me because I really only want to read cozy books in bed. Um, so I need to get in the habit of reading other times too, working on that. Um, and then the four books that came in on ebook from the library are four books that I've just been seen on YouTube. I, I've been, I've been putting them on hold and they all came in at the same time, of course. And the first is Legends and Lattes by Travis um, Baldry. I've been seeing this everywhere. Legends and Lattes. It sounds like a, a cozy fantasy and it just looked really good. I love fantasy. I love cozy. So it seemed right up my alley. So I, I probably will get to that one first, but none of these books are actually long. So I think I can, I think I can read them all. Um, then I also got The Pavilion in the Clouds by Alexander McCall Smith. I really like Alexander McCall Smith, and this is a book of his, um, I don't think it's in one of his series. I think it's one of his standalones, and I hadn't heard of it before, and it was written, I think, in 2021. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to read that. Got that from the library, The Pavilion in the Clouds. I've also got The Last Samurai by Helen DeWitt, and I don't remember where I saw this one either, but it looked really, really good. And then I also got The Wolves of Willoughby Chase by Joan Aiken, which is a middle grade book. I've seen it a whole bunch of places recently. Um, it, isn't it funny how you see something one place or you hear it one place and then all of a sudden it starts popping up repeatedly? Um, and that has, has been the case for The Wolves of Willoughby Chase. I can't remember the channels that I saw it on. Somebody needs to develop a, an app where when you see a book recommended, you just hit a button, it saves it, and it reminds you where you saved it from. If it was like a blogger or a YouTuber, I could put it in Goodreads and just put a note in, but that's a real pain in the neck. I don't like that. Um, so anyway, so I don't remember where I heard about these, but that's eight books. I think I should be very, I think it should be very easy to read eight books this month since two of them are already halfway done. Um, so that is me for February. We're at about 10 minutes. So I think I'll do maybe a separate January wrap up video. Um, I read some cozy books in January. I've probably talked about most of them already because I, um, a lot of them were for the, the 12 days of Christmas and coziness readathon that Ellie and I were hosting. 
Um, so, and I do want to do a, a couple tags, so I may do a tag tomorrow or Friday. I may do a Friday reads, but it's going to be actually I probably won't do a Friday reads because if I do, it's going to be, I'm reading Princess Bride and Summer Katya. That's my Friday reads video. <laughs> All right. Bye.